Patrick, how are you doing? Nice shades, dude. Dig your style. Although you might think the Drake beef is mostly between him and Kendrick, there is actually someone getting not nearly as much attention that's secretly the mastermind behind all of this. Now we all know Drake recently released his diss track called Push Ups where he- Yo, make sure y'all sub to my boy's uh, second channel, uh, Pat CC. Sub, 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 sub. He got bangers up here, bro. He dissed multiple rappers, including Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Future, Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, J. Cole, and potentially subliminals across the entire industry. And firstly, you know I'm always going to look at this from a business perspective, and all of you have to keep in mind that music is a business. I believe that everyone involved in this beef knows that it is good for hip-hop. It's interesting and entertaining. You not sub? This is my business account. Uh, I don't sub on this account. <laughs> it's a business. It's, it's, it's strictly business. All of these artists, yes, including Drake, their sales numbers are down. Hip hop sales numbers across the entire genre are down. Now I'm not saying that this is pre-planned and they're all secretly working together behind the scenes saying, oh, I'm gonna say this, then you say that. No, it's not orchestrated like that, but all of them will make money and will benefit if their names are being dragged into this beef. They can release a single, they can release an album where they- That's why Rick Ross is like pressing the fuck out of Drake. This is like big right now. So, like, why would he ease up? May or may not respond, and then the fans are going to tune in, leading to more streams and more sales. Make the diss track, white boy. DJ Lover, thank you for the sub. Beef has always been good for hip hop. It makes money. You get what I'm saying. Now mm. in the track push-ups, Drake definitely threw some nice little jabs at Kendrick. He made fun of his shoe size. He called him a pipsqueak. He says he's being extorted by his label, saying he is just as much of a sellout rapper turned pop star as any other rapper who did pop records for money. And yeah, some good solid jabs. Cool. But there Patrick, was one bar- when he first realized these beefs were gonna start. <laughs> that is massively overlooked. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every chain I own next visit. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say drop your little... All right. All right. All right. <laughs> In Kendrick's track, he said, y'all better get the switches and that he's going to be snatching chains, to which Drake says, no, you're not. But the <laughs> I be with bodyguards line like Whitney, it does obviously refer to Whitney Houston's 1992 film Bodyguards, but Whitney is also the name of Kendrick Lamar's fiance. Drake dragging Kendrick's fiance's name into this beef is huge in my opinion. And I think this is is really where the beef is going to start. You have to remember that everything up until this point has pretty much just- Can Patrick say nigga? Who's gonna check him? Look how I talk to this turkey. You should've just asked for another feature. Imagine you have an 88 million to spend on the crib. Your shits be steals like you got them from a police auction. You're what the fuck? Your Star Island house on a silver of cheesecake. Your lot 40,000 square feet of. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! He really just messaged him back? <laughs> and you put a wrap on your timeshare jet? That shit coming off when it's. The other people's turn to fly. You bread bearish worker. How many cases you gotta move before you gotta before you gotta check finally? Shit probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett, son. Who the fuck is Brett? You're Brett's son now. You not Rose anymore. Nah, chat. Y'all know everything. Oh no, wait. Y'all gotta wait for niggas to break it down and then go into niggas chat acting like you know who this Brett was. How you not know who Brett was, bruh? How you don't know who Brett was? Brett is the da 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 da. Wait till the info. Wait till updates come out about this, bro. And then y'all niggas gonna come like that's 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 what's funny. That's what's funny about you niggas, man. Bro, you don't know who Brett Parrish is? All right. Rich, you sandwiched in. <laughs> Which is on brand because the vacant land not yours. I was like, I'm not, I was about to say, this is a lot of space. Like, what? Either way, come on, that's that's still a nice little place, Drake. You gotta admit, 
This shit, the Miami starter pack you living in a content creator crib. Oh my gosh. This nigga so petty, bro. He said you're sandwiched in. <laughs> so whose is this? The States? What if he... What if Drake just bought this land up? And then just put, like, bullshit there. Uh, wrong video. Just been about numbers, who has the most sales, who's the most relevant, who has the most cultural dominance, who's big three. It's just been strictly competitive until now. I mean, even if you think back all the way to Kendrick's control verse where he- All Kendrick got to do is call Drake a pedophile and it's over. There's way too much evidence out there. Not, mm, that would not be, it would not be over, bro. He would just, ha you gotta respond, bro. You gotta drop some shit. You gotta say that shit in a track. That will make Drake have to come back and say some sh even harder shit. It's either he come back and say some either harder shit or you just give up. You give up right now, bro. When they go low, I go lower. And so far it has worked. <laughs> and I'll be 64 in September. If you want to play with a child or want to play game, go to Toys R Us. I'm not the one. Thank you. Is there any other discussion in the second? I'm not the one. Okay, I need to move this over here. He dissed every relevant rapper in the game, including Drake. He said he had love for everybody, but he wanted to murder them and take their fans. But this was just for the sake of competition, which we all agree is good for hip hop. Mm -hmm. And even Kendrick's shots that he took on like that were pretty light and also strictly competitive. So Drake bringing up Kendrick's fiance, his family, is even a line that he thinks is taking it too far. Well, it wasn't even about battle rap or any of that. It was just the, the, the information was too shocking. It was... Like I said, it was it was a, on his part. It was a genius chess move. He obviously has no like you know when it comes to me, he's not going to have any like morals or respect. So the other elements of the record, um, whether it be like just like the shit that he's making up about like, my mom and my dad and all this like dumb mm -hmm. shit, or uh, or you know obviously the part that that hit me the most, which is like you know wishing like that my friend that has an illness like dies uh, like though, that shit to me is just not really wavy. Like I don't I, I I'm I'm just not really with that like. And when I did say, oh, there's rules to this, I didn't mean there's rules that anybody has to follow. Whether, whether there was information that didn't get revealed or not, the point is like, I, there's just some unwritten rules in the sport. that shit not wavy, bro. Sport for some people, obviously yeah. not for him, and that's fine, you know? There's a point where you're gonna wanna stop rapping. I'm sure I could say something about, you know, your lovely lady or, you know, a child or a family member, and you're just gonna wanna not really rap anymore. Yeah. So when Pusha T brought up Drake's family, his child, and his friend 40, who was unwell, Drake said that was too far. He also admits that's how Pusha won. So wouldn't mentioning Kendrick's wife by Drake's own definition be too far? It would, which is why I think Drake is being fully intentional here and he wants to poke the bear and see what Kendrick is going to do, which in my opinion is really where the beef starts. It starts at the mention of Kendrick's fiance and... Yeah, like, it wasn't like it wasn't nothing like crazy, crazy. You know, he said uh, be with what bodyguards like Whitney, but he bought her up. Like he, he just he just said he just bought her up. So like now it's like he talked about your he talked about your girl. How, what are you going to do? Because... That's when you, you know, you, that's when you cross a line where it's like, okay, so we talking about, you talking about family now? Like what? It's supposed to be a me and you thing. Why the fuck do you got my wife's name in your mouth, bitch? That's, that's the type of timing Kendrick need to be on and he need to drop something. He need to drop something like devastating, bro. Malicious. Things could get ugly from here. Like if Kendrick responds to that line directly, he might start wiling out, exposing mm -hmm. personal information. Uh -huh. Again, I don't think they're going to be sliding on each other's blocks, but I don't know. No, keep it right, bro. Keep it like, like say what you got to say. And then if wh whatever niggas feelings get hurt first, bow out and take the L. It could get a little messy. But if Kendrick ignores that line, then Drake need to shut up talking about money. We all know why he got the bread he has, getting access to deals not given to niggas. Lucian Grange push pack is literally his lifeline. Think about his number ones that immediately drops out the top 10 the next week. 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's business, bro. It's like you either get with it or get lost. How do you think niggas get to the top of where they at in any field of if any field of any business, bro? Niggas be stepping on other niggas, bro. <laughs> niggas be stepping on other niggas to get to the top. That's in any business, bro. A any type of job, bro. And everyone can just kind of play it off. You don't get to the top by asking nicely and saying that, yo, I do a, I do such a good job and I work hard, bro. And say, oh, that. You either step on other people or, you know, you fuck your way to the top. That, that Drake was never talking about his wife. That that line was about hit Whitney Houston. It was just about bodyguards. Eh, whatever. There's there's a such thing as like double entendres and, or triple entendres and shit like that. Ever forget about it. So it's definitely a strategic chess move by Drake. But ironically, the most overlooked mastermind in this entire beef is Metro Boomin. I believe he has the biggest role in this situation. Dante killed niggas to get here, chat. Like, where do you even... Where? What? Did you step on people? Sup, Dante came from me. Love the vids, they've been helping me a lot. How come everything Called I say... I recently ended a relationship of one year and your content cheered me up. I Keep up the amazing work, focusing on myself now. I appreciate you. How come everything I say, y'all try to, like, pin it on me, bro? I'm talking about niggas who get like, like, bro, like, shut up, bro. Damn. Situation, but he isn't really getting the attention because he's not a rapper and he can't. <laughs> so you saying you fucked your way up? Yes, I fucked Tyrone Magnus so he could react to my shit, and then I fucked everybody else, bro. Like what? Like really think about it, bro. <laughs> Y'all are so annoying, man technically <laughs> respond the only line metro received in push-ups was metro shut your hoe ass up and make some drums but it's actually much deeper nah, that's that. it's funny it as starts fuck. with metro it's like that's such like a disregarded diss or it's like yo i'm not even like going to talk to you bro just just make your drums like i'm doing like real shit over here you you barely even a, like you barely even anything man make your fucking drums dude Tweet and delete rant about Drake. The hip hop all day Twitter account was comparing the streams of calling that business is like calling black artists not getting placements on TV stations before thriller just business. It is business, it's bro. It's not. It is That's business. pure you niggas not allowed over here. We only placing our people here. That's business. You ever ask how Elvis got as big as he did? Nigga, that's literally business. You think, bro, do you think business is actually a fair, fair play game? What fairy tale world are you living in? is only going to widen. Then Metro Boomin chimed into the conversation and said, yet her law still keeps winning rap album of the year over heroes and villains. Proof that award shows are just politics and not for me. I don't care about awards, honestly. The true award and reward- Niggas done activated Simon Martindale. Shut up, bruh! And if you didn't care about rewards, you wouldn't even replied, bro. Hold on, what was the whole, what was the whole thread? Yeah, so, sometimes you like when you reply to stuff like that, it makes it seem like you was actually bothered, bro. It is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to the people's. This sounds like cope, bro. I don't care about awards. The true award and reward is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to people's lives every day. Metro. He's spitting. That, <laughs> come on, and then like, come on, bruh. If this is how he feels, he would have never even like. All right, bruh. <laughs> this is this is cute though. This is cute though. Everyday lives. What's so funny about these tweets is that Metro is doing the exact same thing that DJ Khaled was doing against Tyler the Creator. Tyler went number one, DJ Khaled went number two, and DJ Khaled was pissed. And everybody was like, shut up, DJ Khaled. You had everybody in the industry on that album, and you still couldn't compete with Tyler. But DJ Khaled based his argument off stream, saying, I make albums so people can play it. Pro tip, delete the VOD right now. Like right now, don't I? There was a slip of tongue from you, said a very no-no word. <laughs> the mods know, they can wipe the clips probably got made. Just watching out. Yo, uh, ret retard is not a no-no word. It's just, you know, it's just poor taste. It's just really poor taste to say it. Um, 
this yo guys don't start saying the word it's literally poor taste it doesn't make you a good person all right i said it because i was mad and i can't say i can't say that's you want to talk about a no-no word that's a no-no word okay that's a no-no word chat you didn't hear anything i purposely didn't even say it i didn't even say it you don't even know what i said Facts don't I, I'm a Polynesian who grew up in the hood, dad in jail, mom struggling. Now I'm an artist working on films like Godzilla v Kong, Planet of the Apes and seeing one of my fave streamers watch those same films. Y'all just gotta keep moving forward. Are you serious? Or are you capping? What? Nope, I didn't say that word. I wasn't saying that word. I was actually saying a uh, bag of Cheetos. So that's how you know people just believe anything. But yeah, he literally, this is literally what he just did. This is literally what he just did. We don't, I don't do, I don't do music for, for the rewards. I do it for the people, bro. All right. The main person trying to get like, trying to get number one. Album so people can play it and you actually hear it. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit. You never hear it. Like, dude, shut up. Yeah, Igor what? was just a great album. That's it. Stop Metro is stop hating. Kind of doing the same thing. No, he's really he's doing this. He's doing the exact same thing. Metro, stop, man. Get off Twitter, bro. Please get off Twitter, bro. It's not a good look. I, I feel like as an artist or as whatever. Okay, I think y'all just got to be off Twitter. It's it's just so easy to say shit, and then people can really see that. Oh man, this person probably actually kind of corny, man. Here. He's mad about an award, not necessarily going number one, but Metro is an executive producer. DJ Khaled is an executive producer. The only difference is that Metro does have the capability and the ability. Chad, imagine Tupac on Twitter, bro. What if like that could literally ruin our image of, of Tupac? What if he was actually corny? <laughs> what if this nigga was actually corny, bro? Like we like he didn't know that people could see his likes and he's out there liking weird shit. Well, like, yo, Tupac, we can see your fucking likes, dude. Holy shit. What the fuck? ...to <laughs> make amazing music himself and actually do the producing. <laughs> and he didn't make some annoying... I'm joking, by the way, for all the Tupac fans. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac. Nah, don't I. That has to be bait. Delete the VOD and the clips. Taken out of context, I am sure it will go on Twitter and gain traction. <sighs> fuck Twitter, but think about your future collaborations. I don't you are a father now. You need the bags. Just in case you know. I don't want... I don't want to collaborate with anybody, bro. Ross was critiquing Drake saying you not like us. You got her shit cut. Nah, he, yeah, he right, he right, he right, he right, he right. So you don't get to shit on niggas about money. Wait, what? Especially when you were handed yours and we got here by working against all of these obstacles plus racism and being looked down on. Wait, what? Um, are we talking about Rick Ross to Drake? No, nah, cause I seen Drake say, I seen Drake say, uh, I heard him say he's rich as me and I turned it off. <laughs> I heard him say he's richer than me and I, I, I had to turn the album off. I was, I was so weak, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, hold on. Video to post on social media, but I mean, Dante, you got to back me up here. Like he's. What the fuck? <laughs> Am I tripping? <laughs> what the fuck? Some annoying video to post on social media, but I mean, Dante, you got to back me up here. Like he's clearly pressed. Like he said, I don't even care about awards. Then why? No, he is. Ex exactly. He is pressed. If you don't care about awards, why would you even reply to it in the first place? For what? What do you gain? Like, you don't gain anything. And then try to put that little corny, like, I just make my music so that everybody can be happy when they listen to it. I don't care about awards. That's why I'm here talking about why I don't care about awards, bruh. Nigga goddamn a nigga say retard one time and motherfuckers in the donos get to talking about some think about the children. Are y'all boys okay? I gotta edit all this. I gotta edit that whole thing out. Why did you tweet about it, bro? Exactly. But exactly. then he deleted the tweet, so I guess- He deleted the tweet! 
That's another thing. Y'all gotta realize, once you say something, it will always, like, the tweet will always be there. You can't get rid of it. It's over. That proves he doesn't care. And then Drake, a few months later, called him a tweet and deleter. The non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters. You guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Sick to my stomach. Sick to my stomachs, fam. I just want to look in my eyes. You guys want to do something? You guys. That's what I thought. So hear me out. Metro believes Metro! in his heart. Her loss robbed him of an opportunity to win a BET award or a Grammy or some other award. So it makes sense why he would drop another album that's not necessarily rushed, but I mean, Heroes and Villains dropped like 14, 15 months ago and he already has We Don't Trust You this year. Especially considering Drake said he won't be dropping any more music this year, maybe maybe metro is trying to drop an album and mm. get the award that he thinks he deserves which would be so funny if drake just said nah fuck it i'm gonna do a surprise album <laughs> and he drops an album that gets an award over metro again that would be dire oh my gosh that would be the greatest checkmate i mean he's got so many opportunities to do like a checkmate move because he just has so much money Bolical. okay if Drake drops another album this year, I think he watched this video. Because the ultimate troll to Metro would be to drop another album and intercept Metro's ability to get some award or get a Grammy or something like that. That would be... Check Twitter, Kai is finished again? What happened? Bro, don't tell me that, bro. Crazy. But additionally, it was on We Don't Trust You that Future took shots at Drake. He said on track number one, You my number one fan, dog. Sneak dissing, I don't understand pillow talking, acting like a fed. I don't need another fake friend. Can't be about a hoe cause we sharing. In your feelings, why you playing dog? I know, I, I didn't rap it, all right? I didn't rap it. And the only reason we knew <laughs> this good, was a diss at Drake was because Drake's opening line in push-ups was, I could never be nobody's number one fan. I love how Patrick was so confident that you are watching he talking to you as if you in the room, lol. Uh, bro, I watch all his, I watch all his videos, bro. I love Patrick CC's video. He's like literally just, he's just, he's that guy, bro. He's just that guy. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand, which mm. is true. I mean, surprisingly, Future had like seven or eight number one albums, but he never had a number one single until he collaborated with Drake. I think it was way too sexy, which is like future deserved so many other number ones other than that but yeah true. regardless it is true but there really isn't that much history of beef between future and drake like they're kind of friends as far as we know i mean bloggers and youtubers are now diving into the history and looking at all of these subliminal shots that may or may not be between these two and there could be something there but the only likely explanation that makes any sense is over a girl and it's a really long story that's not worth getting into all of the details in my opinion but the spark notes is essentially that Drake and Future allegedly have some beef over this girl who goes by the name Princess Diana. But then again, F I got one more question for BBL Drizzy. One more question. How long you gonna stay on that plane? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a 1978 cargo plane wasn't built for humans. It's dangerous. Imagine a white boy with the soul plane. <laughs> Imagine the white boy with us. <laughs> this nigga's funny, bro. <laughs> Why is he tagging? How that boy Kassin not do? <laughs> hey, no. Let's pray for Drake. Soul plane. Come on, man. You rich. You deserve. Why would you tag Kyle like he would retweet this, bro? <laughs> Why? Why would you tag Kyle like he would? Yo. Oh shit, man. Chat, if Drake shouted you out in a song, and then you see what Rick Ross do this, are you gonna retweet it? Acting like a tough guy, nigga been hanging with niggas too much. Who the fuck is scared of Aubrey? The whole Drake bad guy thing is just funny to me. How that boy Kassin not do? <laughs> this nigga's stupid, bro. Oh my god, bro. Red Lobster going bankrupt. Follow up Kai clip. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? That's funny. Oh, 
Wait, hey, the... don't I first Donna coming from you and enjoying the streams. Wait, the toy came you out? You should check out the baby freestyle on like that Metro beat. Much love, folded hands. The baby freestyle? Future just said that the beef can't be about a hoe because they're sharing, which does prove that they have shared women in the past, but it doesn't really seem that strong. So Metro is clearly mad at Drake and- We already know why Future in this. He been saying it forever. If young Metro don't trust you, he gonna shoot. Future might be lightly agitated, or maybe Future is not particularly happy with the way that Drake and Metro's relationship has sort of panned out, so it's time to take sides. Is Future gonna side with Metro or Drake? But you have to consider Metro's role here. He's an amazing- Future is- it literally is crazy if Future tries to go- if Future was try to try to go on Drake's side when the tagline is literally Future. For Metro. I need to get it. I need to buy this. I didn't know it came out. Oh my gosh. Producer. Some might even call him the best in hip hop. You can work with a great producer for your whole career, but you can't really have a partnership unless you're a duo with another rapper. Like if you're on Drake's side, what do you get? Okay, you get a feature True. and you get kind of the cultural relevance by mm. being beside him. You might get a an Instagram tag or maybe you get a whole collab album. Future has all of that already from Drake. He mm. got all of the benefits that you get from being Drake's friend in the industry. So kind of doesn't really need him anymore. Strategically, siding with Metro is better for the long term. Plus, who knows how close Drake and Future actually are as friends behind the scenes. Maybe Future was always using him for sales. But Future and Metro do have a long history together, and they are from the same city. For Kendrick, the decision was easy. It was just, let me jump on the number one producer's album and take a shot at the biggest rapper in the game. But Metro benefited heavily from both of these situations. Yeah, he, yeah then, and he can't stop tweeting about it, which I don't blame him for. I don't fault him for. But it's like, you know, I can't really even, it, it, whatever, can't, can't be mad at him, bro. Nigga got number one, Kendra dropped a fucking bombshell on his project. Talk your shit, bro. Talk your shit, man. Then add The Weeknd into the mix, and Metro yet again benefited from that too. The Weeknd received some bars on push-ups as well. Firstly, Drake said that The Weeknd claims Toronto, but he isn't actually from there. Then he basically makes fun of The Weeknd's manager for paying Metro to put him on his most recent two albums. Which, as you know, The Weeknd does kind of stand out on Heroes and Villains and We Don't Trust You. It's like, yeah, all right, The Weeknd's a singer. He's not really a rapper. Like... He's kind of like the token singer on this projects, on these projects. But again, why would The Weeknd need to be on Metro's album? Good well, you guys have to think with your business brain. Okay. Sure, The Weeknd is a pop star. Business, hold on. We just talked about What this. happened to your old Godzilla figure you used to have in your old videos? Um, I, th I think I still have it. I think I still have it. I think it's at, at, in the other house, my other house. I'm sure I still have it, though. He still needs that hip hop coolness factor. He needs the approval of the hip hop community to remain on top. Even Wait, so is The Weeknd doing what Ross said that Drake did? did? So is The Weeknd a white boy now? What are y'all talking? Like, can y'all focus up, man? Y'all asked me a question. I answered it. Is he half white? Okay, let's let me let me see. Is the weekend? Let's see. Is the weekend half white? Uh, the only child of Ethiopian Aramada immigrants. Mike, what the fuck? Huh? I just asked if he's half white. It's a yes or no question, bro. Nigga, is this the weekend? Who is this? <laughs> uh what i don't okay i yeah i don't know i don't know you got it bro whatever they all do it to get cred that's why ross's diss hits because it's true 
as a pop star. It's just a strategic marketing and branding decision. Like rappers just kind of have this cool factor that's difficult to explain. They usually have the most pop in Instagrams. They dress the nicest. They just have this Everybody cool wants to be like a rapper, bro. Or looming interest around He's East African. Um, that people of our society are pop culture Ethiopian. interest has just kind of okay. given them. Why do you think Post Malone started with rap and then now drifted into pop and country? Why do you think Morgan Wallen wanted MGK? Hey, I first Donna coming from you and enjoying the streams. You should check out the baby freestyle on like that Metro beat. Did you just much love folded hands? Jay, did you just ask me to, to react to the baby again? Jay? The baby? This freestyle's got to be the best thing I've ever heard for you to double, double don't know a, 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 a the baby track, bro. All right. All right, man. You know what? What's that? Six dollars? Uh, oh, no. Your, your other one was four dollars. Your other one was four dollars. Okay. I'm going to see, bro. I got you. Okay. I'm going to see. Can you link it? Like, what, what's the link, bro? And to collaborate with Lil Durk, why do you think that pop stars want rappers to feature on their songs? Well, because they get this strong cultural cosign that is hard to quantify with dollars, but we all know that it exists. And the, and the fans are like, the fans are, are dick riders. So niggas heard The Weeknd on that song and was like, oh, we fucking with Weeknd? Oh, say less. <laughs> I fuck with Weeknd now. Oh, I didn't know Metro was fucking with Weeknd. I fuck with, I, I fuck with, oh, I didn't know Future was fucking with Weeknd. I fuck with Weeknd now. Losers. 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 It's invaluable. Loser. And The weekend knows that he needs to maintain that. And how do you maintain that? Well, you get featured on Metro's album, where Metro! the whole hip hop community is going to be tapping in to see who's featured on said album. The weekend chose to side with Metro because Metro will keep The weekend collaborating with the biggest rappers in the game and keep him relevant and cool. And Drake knows this. That's why he dissed him. As far as the Rick Ross beef, it just kind of strategically fit into Drake's diss. Drake just said, fuck it, I'm taking on everyone. Chad, do you think Drake is going to respond back to Rick Ross? Or is Rick Ross forever going to chase Drake down for a response? Because, well, I guess Drake has like replied to him, but like in a diss track. Will he make a diss track? Because Ross is still going. He's still going. Drake said throughout push-ups, the theme of this track is that rappers need him for features, they need him for relevance, they need him to get their number one song, and Rick Ross kind of fits in that boat. All of Rick Ross's top hits have Drake featured on. Yeah, them. I seen the I seen the IG story, but I wonder if it's like if he's gonna do more because Ross. It seems like Ross is looking for a track that he can like, and then he can come back and drop something that will give him the opportunity to get more, you know, streams and shit like that. Drake going to get his feelings hurt if he responds to Ross. Leave that fat pot belly nigga alone and focus on Kendrick, my boy. All your attention, all his attention should be focused on Kendrick, but I feel like the way he talking, he, he talking like he not worried about Kendrick, but I'm gonna be honest, I really think he should be, bro. But it seems like most of their actual beef history is over women, again. Because it's likely that any woman that Rick Ross can get, Drake could probably take from him yeah. and ross responded quickly on instagram because he really doesn't have anything to lose he started making fun of his nose and uh mentioned his mother called the white boy said that he has a bbl <laughs> he's calling him bbl drake <laughs> cupcake drake i feel like drake knew that rick ross was an easy w like no matter what rick ross says nobody's gonna take his side because he's old he's almost 50 years old so all in all what do you think you think it's possible that metro could be the secret ringleader behind all of this or do you think i have it wrong let me know. Hey, don't talk. Nah, Metro My definitely. Balls are currently wet. Love you. Okay, Metro definitely has some part in this. I know he got that shit back from Kendrick. Dropped, wanted to drop that album. Was so excited, he dropped a whole nother album. We still don't trust you. We, he dropped. We still don't trust you. Nigga spun back, right? He spun back. Oh yeah. By the way, I got a tour too, baby. We're touring the world. That nigga is not <laughs> wasting no time. And that's that's just that's smart business. That's smart business. Whether you think he's corny or not, this nigga's getting his bag, bro. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect it.
in the comments. Drink water. Now he just need to drop merch, which I'm sure that's already like a probably a thing. Probably drop the merch. Probably drop when the album dropped. Um, shit, fuck it. Do a little mini docu uh, docu series, uh, a behind the scenes of the process of how the album was made. Really hype up the Kendrick episode. Um, what else, man? For sure, music videos, right? We're gonna get like we're gonna get music videos. Drop some music videos. Um. Bro, he can get a bag. Like he's gonna get a bag off this. He's gonna get get a bag like this. He's gonna he's gonna drop a third one. Four minutes long. Apparently, companies spying on your sex life, Ty. What? Then he's gonna drop another you one. Oh, you thought sure. I? Oh, you thought I trusted you? Now I still don't trust you to this day. We still don't trust you to this day. Ten years later, he drops it. Um. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. W video, Patrick. Patrick, like. I'm not gonna lie, like, oh my gosh. I absolutely love your videos. I think Patrick has become my favorite YouTuber. I donated twice because you sent me your ad as soon as my dono went through L ads. Oh my god, I literally almost forgot about you. Here, I got you. Hold on. Okay. This better be hard as 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 hell. Oh, someone pulled it up already. Thank you.